and welcome to Little Sprout Storytime here at Clark County Public Library. Um, this is Alyssa, Miss Alyssa, and this is our preschool age story time, so ages about three to five, but all are welcome to join in and have some fun. All right, so you may not know this, but this is National Children's Dental Health Month. Um, so you know what I'm talking about when I talk about dental? I'm talking about something that's got a bit of bite to it. That's right. I'm talking about our teeth. Um, and so I've got some stories for you today, which we are reading with permission from Simon and Schuster that are sure to make you smile. All right, so our first story is called I Love My Fangs by Kelly Leigh Miller and published by Simon and Schuster. After all, teeth are very important to vampires, right? Gotta keep them healthy. Just like you should too. I Love My Fangs by Kelly Leigh Miller. I love my fangs. They are pointy, they are sharp. They are a family trait. is important. Yep. I think he's brushing his teeth just like you should. My fangs are very special. Uh-oh. I can push it back in. feel like this? What if I tape it? Tie it? Stick it? No one could possibly notice. Never coming out again. Oh. Who tends to come at night after you lose a tooth? <gasps> My vein. Dracula, she's the tooth fairy. It's her job. She takes your baby teeth so you can grow strong adult teeth. But this one is mine. I don't want to give it up. <sighs> Maybe you do need it more. One fame is better than none. My new fang. Ooh. It's bigger and sharper and works a lot better. It's so pointy, it's so sharp. And I can't wait for the other one to pop out. Oh look, who else is missing some teeth? Ah, the end. I don't know if any of you started losing your baby teeth yet. But it can be kind of scary when it first happens. Although it can take a while. You have to start wiggling and then it pops right out. Mine would sometimes wiggle up for like a couple days before it'd come out. But then again, he's a vampire, so maybe it's sort of an express 
way. Um, our other story also deals with our favorite lady who likes teeth. Um, so this is Nice Try Tooth Fairy by Mary W. Olson and illustrated by Katherine Tillotson, published by Simon & Schuster. Nice Try Tooth Fairy by Mary W. Olson and illustrated by Katherine Tillotson. Dear Tooth Fairy, thank you for the money you left under my pillow. That was the first tooth I've ever lost. Wasn't it beautiful? Emma. Sorry, seems like a good start. Dear Tooth Fairy, my grandfather is here for a visit. Could you please return my tooth so I could show it to him just for one day? Emma. That seems fair. Dear Tooth Fairy, my mother says I should be pleased that you think I have such a big tooth, such big teeth, but I think you made a mistake. Can I, please, can I have my tooth back? Emma, you know, I don't think that one's gonna fit in her mouth. Hmm. Yeah, that definitely was not gonna fit in her mouth. Dear Tooth Fairy, you don't have to worry about taking back that tooth. Last night, I had a surprise visitor. That tooth fit him just fine. Have you found my tooth yet? Emma. Ooh. Dear Tooth Fairy, no, my tooth isn't this small either. I almost didn't see it under my pillow. Just as I was about to pick it up, a funny looking creature tumbled through my window and grabbed it. I guess it was his. Emma. Yeah, that's like a little dumb. The hedgehogs don't have very big teeth. Ooh. Dear Tooth Fairy, nice try, but this isn't mine either. The animal that came for it was cute, but oh, so smelly. I let him have that tooth and anything else he wanted. Emma. Ooh. Dear Tooth Fairy, no, that tusk's not mine either. Not unless you think I'm an elephant. And speaking of elephants, there's one trumpeting on my front lawn right now. Do you think this might be his? Emma. Dear Tooth Fairy, you sure must have a lot of teeth there. My mother says the tooth you left me last night is an alligator tooth. I'm looking for a place to put it so he'll be sure to find it. Here's a picture of my tooth in case you forgot what it looks like. Sure a lot of teeth. Dear Tooth Fairy, you found it. My grandfather really liked it. Thank you. I'm returning it just like I said I would. Emma. Dear Tooth Fairy, guess what? My other front tooth fell out. Isn't it beautiful? Maybe you should put it in a safe place for a while. you give your tooth to the tooth fairy, it's a bit hard to get it back. Um, but in the meantime, I do have a song to share with you. Um, so this is Hands Are For Clapping by Jim Gill. Um, and you'll know exactly why I chose this song once we really get into it. All right, so are you all ready? All right, get up. We'll wiggle a little bit. Get your fingers ready for clapping. All right, let's go. Hands are for clapping, clapping to this song. Hands are for clapping, 
Let's all clap along. Clap your hands. Now your toes. Toes are for tapping. Tapping, tapping to the song. Toes are for tapping. Let's all tap along. Tap your toes. Now with your fingers. Fingers are for snapping. Snapping to this song. Fingers are for snapping. Let's all snap along. Snap your fingers. Get a beat on your knees for this one. Knees are for slapping. Slapping to this song. Knees are for slapping. Let's all slap along. Slap your knees. Now this one's good for you. Teeth are for brushing. Brushing to this song. Teeth are for brushing. Let's all brush along like this. Marshmallows left over, you can, you know, maybe have a couple to snack on. Um, but um, this is just something fun to do that lets you see how your teeth are. All right, and that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for coming by. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.